Okay, hi. Um, this is my second time recording. I had to stop real fast. So uh, my mailman came early and I wanted to grab the package I got to share with you guys. So, whew. hi, welcome to my channel, A Little Patience. My name is Ashley and I am here to talk to you about my stitching and crocheting and sewing. Um, mostly just the first one today. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm like out of breath now. Um, today is my daughter's birthday. It is Friday, March 15th. I did not film yesterday. I had a um, really bad sinus headache. It was awful. So um, I'm much better. I'm like totally fine today. Um, thank you. And um, <clears throat> so my daughter turned six today. This morning I went into her kindergarten classroom because I signed up to read to her class today on her birthday. Uh, we had to reschedule the time, but we um, I was still able to come on her birthday and read to her class and it was so fun. I brought, um, I brought Willie with and he was a huge hit, very well behaved. Uh, I read them two stories and um, <laughs> Um, they're, they're so cute. So it was nice being in a kindergarten classroom again. So happy birthday, Vivi. She's six years old and oh my gosh, she's amazing. Um, so there's that. And then I also have the giveaway winner for the peacock chart. I had it here somewhere. Oh, you know, it's in the bottom of my tray because I was going to do it last, but I decided to do it in the beginning. So, I'm sorry for the noise. Okay, um, the winner of this Kathy Barrick chart, A Party of Peacocks, is, drum roll please, Emmy Rose 22A. So, if you could please send me an email, I'll put it in the description box below with your address so I can mail that out to you. So congratulations, Emmy. Um, okay, so that's out of the way and I'm going to show you my pitiful book of days. I haven't changed any stickers or anything, but I haven't done a lot of um, stitching. So um, after I filmed last week, I watched some floss tubes and I worked on a nutcracker ornament. So I watched Jordan the Tattooed Stitcher um, and Katie the Novel Stitcher. So go check them out. I know um, Jordan was really nice to watch. Her, um, her stitching is really beautiful and Katie the Novel Stitcher is doing a, um, like a, a cross stitch book club so if you like to read as well go check her out and um, see if you're interested in joining with that I'll I'll tag them below um, or link them below so you can go straight there to their YouTube's and watch their uh, latest videos so okay um let's see so you know I'll just show you how far I got on my Nutcracker ornament. This was a gift from my uh, mother-in-law. I think it was not this Christmas, but two Christmases ago. And she got me the whole set of the Nutcracker ornaments from Satsuma Street. And I started with Clara and I switched the hair to blonde um, to match my daughter's and then I lightened up her skin tone with the um, the hair and skin recommendations in the chart that Jody puts in here. So, um, you know, let me put that down and slide it out. I don't want to show the chart. Okay. Oh gosh. Let me see. Okay, so this is on gold perforated paper, which is what it calls for, but I also painted mine with acrylic paint to make it a little bit more shiny. This is the original up here, and it's just a tad bit more shiny. 
So I used all the calls for DMCs and um, I didn't have like the same embellishments and beads and stuff or the um, sequins. So I just pulled from my stash what I had and they're so pretty what I put on there. It's hard to tell how big those beads are. They're pretty big. Well, you know. So I still have to do the back stitching on her face and then I have to do the little nutcracker soldier that she's supposed to be holding right there. And then the first ornament will be done. So really cute. It's it's very pretty. And it's um it was a very fast stitch once I sat down and took the time to do it. So I worked on that a couple days. Um I'm just going to slide my stuff down. Um, Friday, let's see, we had a school event. We did um, a family bingo night at the kids' elementary school. So we got home pretty late, and I was really tuckered out after that. So I did not, um, I did not stitch after, um, after we got home. But in the morning, I worked on my, my design, Snail Home. And I'll show you my new releases at the end of the video. Um, yeah, I was up at like 4.20 that morning too, so way too tired to stitch. Then Saturday we had our combined family birthday parties for my two youngest. So we had um, some family over and we cooked out and, you know, play with presents. We had a really good time. So I only did a little bit of stitching that day. And I got caught up on Stitching with the Housewives YouTube. Sunday I and Monday, I worked a little bit on Quaker Garden by Rosewood Manor. So I'll show you that. Um, and again, I worked on my designs as well. And on Monday, I watched um, Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher. And... I actually watched for the first time Nicola Parkman, and she's um, the designer behind, um, well, she is the designer behind um, Hands Across the Sea, even though. Oh, okay, so here's Quaker Village by Rosewood Manor. I'm not very far. I'm stitching this on 32 count. Sorry, I thought I had a sneeze coming on there. 32 antique, antique white. I only worked on this a little bit I think on Sunday because it kept my edges kept fraying and then I tried to put a binding on it and it just like kind of went whoop. so I was so frustrated I just put it down and then the next day I finished the binding and uh, worked on it so I finished up this motif here I can't find my black DMC I'm sure it's somewhere else and then I just jumped over here to this one in the, almost to the middle. And I didn't, I didn't really stitch a lot. I did uh, mostly mine trying to get caught up and get them all finished to release. So, but this is so pretty. And this is all DMC, it's all called for, and it's two, two over two. Let me pull that back up. Okay, I know you're gonna see me throw it on the floor, but I'm I'm not like it's all clean. It's all clean. It's all good. Okay, so um, let's see. Wednesday, I watched the Quilted Cow live on Facebook. Um, did not win a sewing machine, and neither did my son or daughter because they had a kids show as well, and they were giving away a machine on the kids show. So if you like to sew, go check it out. They're doing. A machine giveaway um, next two Wednesdays, every Wednesday in March. So they're on. They're doing their Facebook machine giveaways on Facebook only for right now. Sometimes they give away stuff on their website live as well, and I believe that is a Monday show. Um, you'd have to check out their website if you're interested. I could be wrong on the day. Okay, and then. That brings us to today, and I was working on Woof Block by Hands Hands On Designs. Um, 
it's kind of messy right now, so I'm not going to show it to you today. So those are my whips. And next, I'm going to share with you my haul. Put my book down. And I got some fabric from Cedar River Linen. After watching Brenda and Laura, I decided to go on their website and purchase them. It took a while to get here. I think, I'm guessing she got pretty swamped. I mean, what with Brenda and Laura being so popular and, um, you know, market, preparing for market. So it took a while to get here, but I got Overcast, 40 count. I do have my um, light because... Um, I don't get like midday light in my craft room. It's, that's overcast. Very pretty. She sent me this thank you note. So thank you. And then I also got 40 count maple bar. And this is just a little bit darker than, um, well, it's not darker. I would say it's got more orange or yellow tones to it. So this one's really pretty as well. I was th uh, thinking of doing my next project on this for my design, sort of, but I'm gonna stick with um, Old, what is it? Old Massachusetts by Primitive Hair, I think, is uh, what I'm gonna go with. So I'll show that to you. I plan to have it ready to release on my birthday. So I'm excited for that. Okay, that's the fabric I got. Then I also got my order from The Quilted Cow. So I purchased expired hand sanitizer. It was buy one, get one. So I think it was like two of them for $3. They're so cute. They're the Riley Blake ones. And uh, my eldest son is like, he likes to always have clean hands. So, um... I always try to have hand sanitizer with me in my purse. So these will be really handy because they're just, you know, I usually get the um, the ones from Bath and Body Works, but they can get a little messy and this is like a spray. So I'm hoping it'll be not as messy. <laughs> okay, I also got this pattern. It's called the Willow Pouch. And I'm going to make the large size and use that to store my cross stitch floss. So I did make a bag. Sorry. Uh, I made this one with my mom's help and they're like the same size, but the pattern I had, um, <clears throat> it's not lined on the inside well it is like I did line it but it's not finished you can see the unfinished seams and I don't I thought I'd be okay with it but I'm actually not so I've been on the hunt for a pattern and now I have a whole bunch of brown floss to clean up okay so <laughs> I'm so sorry that was just kind of a spur of the moment I wanted to show you okay so I'm hoping that this is fully lined. I think it is. So I purchased some fabric to go um, to make it. Okay, so I got um, the mini charm pack of Antoinette by French General. And they're so pretty. This is my order from the Quilted Cow. I will show you my order from Fat Quarter Shop next. And I got more fabric to go with it. Um, because you need, for the large one, you need a mini charm pack, a fat eighth, a fat quarter, and some zippers and other stuff, which I I had. So, um, so I got that. And then I also got just some fat quarters. She was doing a little sale on fat quarters, so I got this. It was like a mystery bundle. So this one is like white with white dots. And then this fun corn on the cob, which is great for the Midwest. This one is cute as well. It's got dandelions and bees. And this one is really pretty. A little metallic in there. Purples and blues. 
and I got uh, this is their rug life it is an exclusive pattern and the pattern is included in this kit um, to make a fabric rug so cute be great for springtime or even to leave out just I was gonna put it in my kitchen that fabric is so cute and this kit comes with the free pattern but I do need the foam for, for inside. I think it's foam that she uses. <coughs> I also got, um, this is a kitchen scarf. It's something you wear around your neck and then it has the towel in there as well and the free pattern and there's the fabric. So when my husband does the dishes, I do all the cooking and he will um, clean up my messes for me because we're a team like that. So when he does the dishes, he always takes the towel, throws it over his shoulder and then like wanders around the whole house. And here I am with dripping hands looking for him for the towel. So now he can have this and take it wherever he wants on his neck 24 seven. So I got this for him. So that'll be fun. I also got a one yard roll up. This was also a mystery fabric. It's really pretty. I don't know what I'll do with it, but it's really pretty, really good quality fabric. So that is my haul from the Quilted Cow. And this is what just came from that quarter shop. So I got a zipper. I wanted this color, even though I don't need it to be this long. So I got like a dusty blue zipper to make a bag, which I just showed you. I also got, hmm, I have to open that up. Hold on a second. Okay. I'll make sure I got everything later. I'll check the invoice. Like a um, off white or cream zipper gonna see if they had it labeled but they don't and then like a lime green zipper for another bag okay so that that'll be three bags to go with those zippers I have them in these cute little bags oh the label slid right off this is peachy keen it's a moda line and sorry slide that back on nope Okay, so I thought this would be cute to make a bag and keep all my blue floss in there. Look at all the fuzzies just coming up. Ah. So I thought that would look good with this, this zipper. And I thought for the bottom of that bag, I could use that fabric as the same for the inside. Sorry. Okay. And I thought this would be really nice. And it's all a part of the same line. So Peach Keen, Dusty Blue Zipper. I thought it would be beautiful. Okay, they have it all rolled up. Next, to go with the Antoinette line by French General, I got a half yard of this one. And for the cream zipper. And then the... Um, mini charm and I thought this would be cute to keep my reds in reds or pinks we'll see what I end up going with okay and then I got cottage linen closet and this is also from Moda oh you know what Antoinette is Moda as well but it's by French General I don't know how would I get these stuffed in here. I can't even get it out. Oh, there, it got stuck in there again. Okay, so this was Cottage Garden. I'm not a huge lime green person, but I was just trying to match. And I thought this would be cute. And then I just got some, um, basic cotton and I thought I could use that bag for all my 
green floss. So I am looking forward to making those bags and you know, I'm not like really good at sewing at all, but um, I think it, I think it's fun. I think it's fun. So I'm excited for all those and can't wait to clean that mess up later. Okay, got fuzzies everywhere. I also had run off to Hobby Lobby to get some some of these, which they didn't have, so I had to order them on Amazon anyway. But I did end up picking out um, such a cute little zipper pull. And some little curved scissors. They're, they're really cheap, but they're so cute. They reminded me of like spring. And this one for something as well. So that was my haul from Hobby Lobby and the Quilted Cow and Fat Quarter Shop. So I think that's it for haul. It's fine. Um, next plans for like upcoming stitching. I'm not sure. I was planning on getting woof block done for my next video, but I'm also picking up my market order tomorrow. So everything can just get like flown in the air. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to meet my mom there to pick out, um, so I'm going to stitch her that October House, the blue sampler from Market. Um, blue's my mom's favorite color, so she's going to go pick out some fabric and floss for me so I can stitch it for her. It would be really cool if I could get it done for her birthday in July. So we'll see what she picks, and um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I talked about Katie, the novel stitcher. Um... Today we're gonna to celebrate Vivi's birthday when she comes home. Uh, we told her she can watch any movie she wants. And um, we, Willie and I went to, we picked up a little cake for her from the store. Uh, I got her a cute little happy birthday bath bomb. She got her gifts at our family birthday party. So, um, and I got her some flowers. Um, I really didn't wanna get her, but it's like, hard like it's it's her birthday how can she not get anything so i got her just some little things um i'm also hosting easter for my family both sides of my family my husband's and, and mine so uh that'll be fun and exciting and um that brings us to new releases so let me just show that all over there i'm going to release Four new charts in my Etsy shop on the first day of spring, which is March 19th. So um, check my Etsy shop March 19th for these new releases. The first one up is, I'm so sorry, I don't know why there's a squeaky sound. Bunny Hop. And I have it in this cute little basket with just filled with flowers and carrots. Okay, so let me tell you about Bunny Hop. It is stitched on 36 count mint by Fiber on a Whim. Right here, very pretty. Um, let's see, I used General Art Victorian Pink. And that is the flowers in the corners. Classic Color Works Chai, and that is the bunny. Classic Color Works Toasted Marshmallow, and that's all the white you see with the lace border and the words. Oh, my light's kind of really bright. And Classic Color Works Finley Gold for the inside of the flowers. Gentle Art. Burnt Orange for the carrots. Gentle Art Shutter Green for the carrot tops. 
So very pretty colors. Um, let's see. To finish it, I used, sorry for the crinkles, everything's in a bag. I bought this from Primrose Cottage Stitches. Let's see if I can, let me just kind of dim my light. It says Hollyhock Fat Quarter Bundle, and it includes 10 fat quarters. So I got this on their Etsy shop, and I'm just going to show you the fabric I used. I used this one for the bottom there. And I thought it was more white, but it is actually like a really, really pale blue, almost white. But I thought it was so pretty. And I think I'm just going to turn my light around. Okay. So I used this for the bottom fabric from Primrose Cottage. And for my accents, okay, this is the fabric on the back. It is from Lady Dots Creates, and it is the color Blossom, and it's cotton velveteen. I don't want to take it out. In the color Blossom, and it is so soft, it's so lush, so springy. Then I also used her ribbon. Her rayon ribbon and this is I want to say ballerina I'm really trying to minimize all the crinkling you guys I'm really sorry I apologize it looks like ballerina so I use that to make the bow and then I also used her lace ribbon or not ribbon but lace in petticoat to turn it into this really cute pillow and it says, everybody hop, hop, hop. And I know it's like an Easter kind of pillow, but you could leave it out for spring as well. So it's super cute and very springy. And I love the fabric color. And everything just really ties it all together. And those bright orange carrots. So cute. Okay, and then this one comes with a bonus chart. So I'm not going to show that. I haven't even stitched it. Um, but the bonus chart does have a cute little bunny on it. So that is my first release. Just try to keep that all together. Okay, next up is, oops, I have something covering it. Snail home. Can you hear me hit my teeth there? Okay. We can all be Ivana. She's awesome. She's a great finisher, but we can all use her amazing tutorials to try our best to finish our own projects. And you guys, this is my first drum and it's so stinking cute. So thank you, Ivana, for giving us amazing tutorials so we can finish our own, own things. So this is Snail Home and it is the same on each side except for the words. And the cute little snail house in the middle. And I used some fabric from my stash for the top and the bottom. And to cover up where my little rickrack met, I just put a little button. And it says, wherever doth the little snail roam, forever they will have a home. And it has some cute little cabbage and some butterflies and hearts and a tomato. Some little baby snails, beautiful flower, floral design on the top. Sorry, I realized I was pretty much covering up the whole thing. So this is stitched one over one on 28 count mushroom. And as you can see, it's rather small, but it would still work as a nice drum if you bumped it up to 40 count or even 36 count, I think would work really well. This is stitched with all over dyed cotton threads as well. And I'm gonna set this down so I can tell you what those are. Okay, so that one is stitched with Weak Style Works White Wash, Weak Style Works Hibiscus, that's the color of the house, and it matched my fabric really well for finishing. 
Classic Colorworks Tennessee Red Clay, and that is the color of the hearts and some of the flowers. Leek Styleworks Artichoke, that is the color of the grass and the potted plant right here, and some of the cabbage. Classic Colorworks Perfect Pie Crust, that is used in the snails. I had originally done whitewash, but it wasn't showing up very well. Let me turn my light back around. That's slightly better. Okay, and then I used Gentle Art Pomegranate, and that is the tomato and some of the flowers on the top. I also used Classic Colorworks Pebble Beach. That's the snails in the door. Leak Style Works Grapevine. That is the lettering and some details in the pot and the windows. Classic Color Works Spinach. General Art Butter Crunch. It's very pretty yellow. Very nice and variegated. Okay. And then to finish it, I just, I just used fabric for my stash. It doesn't take a lot for the top and the bottom with the size I stitched it on, on the 28 count, one over one. So... This, I want to say it was like a fat quarter pack from Hobby Lobby and it had, you know, it has these cute little white butterflies on there and I thought it looked really nice with the house and the butterflies here. And then to cover up this seam, it didn't look too bad, but you know, it's my first one. Um, I used also just for my stash. This is vintage trim. And I want to say it's a Lori, yeah, Lori Holt vintage trim, and it is the small beehive. And you can get this, well, I got it on Fat Quarter Shop. I'm sure they still have it. I think I got it one to two years ago. So, um, and there's a lot on there. But this is a nice, cute, springy yellow. <clears throat> Rick Rack trim to have. Okay, so that is Snail Home. Very cute. Okay, I have next up is my Americana Bunting. Okay, I'm very proud of, of this one. It's really cute. So this one is stitched on 36 count antique ivory. I'm trying to look for the floss that I use. Oh, I think I found it. Okay. So for these, I used Gentle Art Schoolhouse Red, Weak Style Works Blue Coat Red, Weak Style Works Grits, that's the white, and oh, Weak Style Works Blue Suede, and you do need two of those. So I left this on here so I can remember that I did use up a whole skein. And then, um, what is that? Gentle Art Brandy. If you were to go to a higher count, I would recommend getting two of grits as well. And I'll put that in the chart. Okay, so it is four little buntings. And what's great about these, I've mentioned it before, is they are um, interchangeable. You can take this top portion and match it with any bottom portion. So this one I did separately and my loop is actually really long. It's just some pink ribbon I had from my stash. I encourage you to use what you have. I backed it with some blue ticking fabric also from my stash. Um, but this one I just did into like a little hanging ornament. It's really cute, super cute. I love the, um, I don't know, I love it. Okay, and the other three I finished as the bunting. So I made my own um, binding at the top there and then, you know, just tied it off so I can find somewhere in my house to hang it. And I put the star one in the middle because I thought it balanced it out really nicely. You could do all of them, all of them on there, or, you know, do just a, a single one, whichever order you want. And um, 
I just sewed them right sides together and left this edge unfinished so I could turn it and then I pressed them and then I sandwiched these in between my binding and just sewed them all together. And I did have to use two strips of fabric and I just sewed them in the middle. So I just put it in the middle and it's so cute. You could cover it up like with a button or a cover button or a bow. But I love it just the way it is. Very cute. It's like a, a good time to start patriotic stitching. So I love it. So there's, oh, there we go, all four of them. And they're just so, so adorable. I think they turn out really well. Oh no, they're tangled. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of my tea and then show you my last one and then I'm out of here. And then I'm gonna go stitch. And do laundry. Okay, last one is words to live by. I did end up finishing these and I have three so far and I do have plans to add more. So what I'd like to know from you is if you would like me to continue this, this color scheme or if you would like um, a different color scheme for let's say the next three sets of words. So let me know in the comments if you'd like a different color scheme for a different set of words. Okay, this is the first one I did. This one is, whoa. Okay, diligence. And I just matched it to this fabric I had in my stash. I got it as a fat quarter from Joanne Fabrics years ago. It's, it's beautiful. It reminds me of Versailles. So um, I finished all of them into a little pillow with the same fabric and I used all the same thread this is like an antique, like a cream colored 32 count cream with DMC. And then I did Humility. And this is on 32 count antique white with the same DMC colors. And my last one is Kindness. And this one is on 32 count blush. Let me just double check that. 32 count rose blush. I'm glad I double checked. So they are super cute. I'm gonna put them in a little, little dough bowl. That's hard for me to say, dough bowl together. They look really nice. Okay, there we go. So let me know if you'd like um, a different color combination for my next set of words. So this is words to live by. And I used two over two on 32 count. So I used DMC 963, 581, 964, 828, and nine, six, two. Wow. So they just matched my fabric. <laughs> and I think they're beautiful. And kindness is on that pink. It's kind of getting a little washed out. It's not as dark as this. It is a very pale pink. And then I just backed it with some crummy cotton I had in my stash. I hope he doesn't wake up. That's like a really short nap. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm all done. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. Shoot. <laughs> I hope he doesn't wake up. What can you do? Okay. So those are all my new releases and I'm very excited to have them ready for you guys on the first day of spring. I will release them into my Etsy shop. So go check it out. Thank you for watching and if you like the video, go ahead and like the video, become a subscriber, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll put all that down below and check out my Etsy shop and don't forget to email me for the giveaway winner, okay? So I'll see you guys next time.
Bye.